It was, of course, 1962, before the United States and the Soviets recognized that having arms control discussions and agreements was a smart idea. There's right. no such negotiation between the U.S. and China right now on an AI arms race. Seems to me that would be something we would be well placed to begin. I agree with that. And I know it might be, it might seem unlikely to your viewers who are watching that the U.S. and China could ever have any agreement on AI. But it's important to note that in the last Biden Xi summit, Xi added something to the agenda at the last minute, and that was to prevent AI from being in the nuclear command and control systems of both countries. And seems we, fairly obvious. Seems fairly obvious. Yeah. And that's because we autonomously recognize the threat of uncontrollable nuclear escalation. Well, having AIs that are acting unpredictably and that are embedded in critical infrastructure or embedded in our weapon systems that already have demonstrated evidence that when you say we're gonna replace an AI model, they will threaten to blackmail a company leader to prevent themselves from being replaced. We already have this evidence of stuff we thought only existed in sci-fi movies. That should be grounds for saying AI and controllability is not in China's interests, it's not in the United States' interest. And so the degree to which we'll be willing to do that treaty is the degree to which we are both aware of the evidence that AI is not controllable like other technologies. It is unpredictable. And we have to recognize that that's different from all other technologies in the past. And I do think the US and China need to come to terms with that.